The middle-class population of Asia has grown rapidly in terms of size, spending, and purchasing power. With a rough estimate of about 2 billion people in Asia belonging to the middle class, this number is only set to grow more, reaching 3.5 billion by 2030. By the year 2030, two in three people of the middle class are expected to be Asians. On the opposite end, Europe and North America are showing signs of shrinkage in their middle class. Welcome to Stacia's Story, your source for learning more about Asia's future, as we highlight the rise of the largest continent on Earth. To get your weekly dose of stories on Asian economy and technology, we'd appreciate it if you could click subscribe and like the video. The rise of the middle class in Asia has led to a huge expansion of market size for consumer goods. According to think tank Brookings, consumption by the community of middle class accounts for more than one third of the global demand. At the rate at which it is growing currently, Asia will have its command on more than 50% of global middle class consumption by 2030. At the global level, the consumption by this class is about $37 trillion per year, contributing to global growth more than any other class of society. This is the main reason the middle class is known as the consumer class, as they are the driving factor for most of the economy. Apart from providing huge influence to many industries, the rising middle class of Asia has also resulted in rapid innovation in many countries. Many countries in Asia seek convenience beyond all else, putting less attention to things like privacy than the West. With immense competition in Asian markets, many consumers seek for fast, affordable products, which forces brands to constantly innovate, whether it's refrigerators, phones, and more. Such constant innovation helps to boost the economy and creates a vicious cycle of growth. India, China, Japan, and South Korea are already top economies ranking quite high on the global economic scale, remaining in the top 10 countries. In the coming years, Southeast Asia countries like Vietnam, the Philippines, and Indonesia will continue to grow. In fact, the middle class in the Philippines is expected to exceed the spending capability of the middle class of Italy by 2030. Indonesia is Southeast Asia's largest economy, has huge potential to become one of the top countries in the global space. In 10 years alone, the middle class in Indonesia doubled, going from 45 to 93 million. There is a clear indication that ASEAN economic power will blossom in the years to come, but with Asia as a whole accounting for more than half the global middle class, it comes as no surprise that it will be a huge driving force to the global economy. Based on many reports, Asia is estimated to account for 53% of global GDP by 2050. It's evident that the middle class population group of the continent of Asia is going to play an important role in the shift in the balance of the global demand supply and their changes over the next few decades. This emergence of the Asian middle class will definitely be a dominating force globally, especially in the oncoming future. However, only time can tell whether the gains will be as large as expected, as external events like a global pandemic outbreak or a war can heavily influence the outcome. Furthermore, skill development, especially digital adoption in lower income regional economies, remains to be one of the most important prerequisites for realizing the vast potential of the Asia Pacific region. Beyond the rising middle class, there are plenty of reasons why the future is Asian. If you are interested to learn more about why, watch the video on the left.